because he is alive. I can show you. Okay, show me. I just have to find it. Uh, this is my huh? just, oh, this was just my final oh, my final scene. So this scene. is the anyway. it's a wrap. Well, can we can we show it into uh, the camera? No, I'll show you this one. This is uh, <gasps> uh, you're in Greyjoy. Uh, why is he <laughs> kind of naked? <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, we just missed it. Oh, too bad. <laughs> Snooze, you lose. I'm the man who killed Jaime Lannister. <sighs> It was just this amazing uh, doll they made. So yeah. when you see him finding us, mm -hmm. it's actually uh, not us. It's to uh, they created these uh, really? dolls. That was we did a 3D scan of our faces, and then they just recreated this. So so because the thing was we have all this dust on our eyelids, and you you go close, yeah. you can see all the dust. There's no way you cannot. You know, breathe and not. Oh. So they had uh, these uh, copies. So in theory, uh, Jamie and Cersei were not. We're not there. dead. They so were not there. It wasn't them. So then I could be happy about See? it. See, you could be happy about <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, but you know what? So how did you feel about Daenerys going uh, medieval on uh, the world? This is a, a whole topic on its own. Mm. Uh, but uh, what I li I'd like to talk about is the Valonka theory. You ever heard of that? Of course. You, I think you're misunderstanding something here, very <laughs> fundamental. It's not about what you want here. Um, it's about how did you feel about the Daenerys uh, going tell crazy? Tell us, tell us, Marco. Um, I was kind of, uh, it was heading to this, and uh, there was a lot of foreshadowing, and it shows a lot about our morals. Uh, we like to share to people, even if, uh, if we think they are right, and nobody is evil. If someone thinks he's right, and you think he's right, yeah. you like what he's doing, and you share to that. Yeah. And then, then there's a point, maybe, uh, where you see you weren't right, yeah. uh, but he still thinks he is. So this is the point. But isn't it also that whole thing about the uh, yes, and and the winner writes history, right? So so we Apparently. always we always assume that we are in the right, that whatever we do when we. If we in our countries are in war, we, we are doing good things because we are the right, we're mm -hmm. the good people, right? But and good people do bad things as well. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And your last episode showed me that uh, war isn't, isn't about who's, who wins, uh, it's about the people who suffer. Yeah, suffers. and war is not the solution to anything. Not to anything. Right. No, it's, it's very, uh, it felt very awkward and real, the uh, bells, this episode. Yeah. Um, so so it was kind of a great moment in TV history, actually, for me. Even if you hate the ending of Game of Thrones, it moves you. I think so, and I think it was never. It was always going to be very difficult to f end a story with so many stories mm -hmm. and with so many very, very passionate fans who loved the show. The only thing I would say is, that, as I said before, is that if you remember what people loved about the show over the years, it was always the unpredictability, mm -hmm. the fact that things didn't go the way you wanted them to go. So it's, it's always it felt a little um, ironic that what people were really upset about at the end was that it didn't end the way <laughs> they wanted it to end. But this was I think, at the, yeah. and also at the core, people didn't want it to end, period. Yeah. Of course. And, which is great. You know. Do you know what I really hated? That there was no happy ending for Brienne of, of Tarte and for Jamie Lannister. Well, she, she had one night of joy. Well, oh. so this is what she, she, she's getting? Jeez. One night stand? Saying that wouldn't be enough? What, that is amazing. Um, but you know? uh, did you have the feeling that uh, Jamie changed in the, um, the storyline? Uh, because, because, because of the Wallon category, for years I thought, ha, Jamie's going to kill Cersei. Oh, yes. He's going to kill Cersei. Yeah. It must be. But, the, 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 but, but also remember that the theory is from the books. It was never mentioned in, this, in the show. Yeah. So it I was it was that. all something that you know in the books this is mentioned but it was never yeah. part of the show. They other the other prophecies mm -hmm. were mentioned right with the 
Mag the Frog and all that. Um, and also, but it would almost be too perfect, wouldn't it, that he had to go back and kill Cersei. And there are uh, poetic similarities, you know. One of your hands is on her neck. So mm -hmm. I thought, it's a b she's going to die in the arms of the one she loves the most. Yes. And you were going to die in the arms you love the most. Yes. And still your, your, your living hand is still on her neck. So kind of it is Valonkar, but you didn't... St yeah. the, the life was uh, squeezed out of her, yeah. like in the prophecy, mm -hmm. but you weren't the reason. No. So no. in kind That's of way it uh, fulfilled. George R. R. Martin said uh, you don't... Uh, look too close at prophecies, you know? <laughs> no, it's true. But also, it's like with anything, uh, any, it's always about how, how do you interpret it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and, and how do you inter interpret it, um, uh, Jamie's reason to go back to Cersei? Was oh, I think it love? It, it's, it's love, but it's also loyalty, and it's, 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 it's a very, it's, a, it's, it's imprinted in him. You can't leave your family behind. And, and you have to remember, it's the, He's been, it's spent his life with this woman. Mm -hmm. She's the mother of three, his three kids, and she's carrying his, his fourth mm -hmm. child. And he's being told that she is going to get killed now. Of course he's going to go back Did and you? try to do whatever he can to help her. Yeah, but uh, uh, she lost the child, actually. Uh, which, uh, well, not in, this, not in the way it was cut together. Yes, I know. Mm. So this was a scene which was cut out and... Oh, I no, it was in, in the, it was in the original script for, for, for season seven and we, and we shot it. But when they, they, you know, they edited it yes. and they thought, no, let's keep this in. But uh, I heard, uh, I watched an interview with Nia Hedy and she said this was a scene where she was really sad that it was cut out. Yeah. Um, do you also have scenes that were cut out and now afterwards you say, uh, I wish these scenes would, would have been in the series? No, I don't have any scenes that were cut out. Oh, so you're very happy. You got your full screen time. I got the full thing, yeah. Wow. But I think that the scene with, with the uh, miscarriage, it was a miscarriage at the very end of yeah. season seven. I understand why they didn't use that because it was such a it's such a great if Cersei hadn't been pregnant mm -hmm. it would have taken some of the tragedy out of the story in, 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 that, in season 8 right yeah the, the fact that that is part of the engine at the final scene with her and, and Jamie she says I don't want a baby I want a baby to live it's such a powerful thing so it it absolutely made sense but also you know I don't think they it's a very it's a big thing to write a series. It's yes. not, it, and, and also, so, you know, they had to write it as we were going along. It's not done like, you know, you, you didn't, we didn't have a novel and could look at. They had to come up with it. Um, and I think that I've read some of the comments online and you kind of go, you know, I, uh, fair enough, you don't like it. But... Um, to say that they're hacks and that they don't know what they're doing and it's just disrespectful yeah. because yes. uh, yeah, they, it's, it's been the biggest show uh, ever and it has everything to do with the creators of the show. So are you somehow then at a point where you say, I don't read any comments anymore? No, I, no, I read some stuff, but I mean, I, I am, and I enjoy it and I, I love the passion. Uh, it's for me. No, no. I, I think, and, and I think it's absolutely valid. You, you, you can feel that it's the wrong ending, and that's great. I yeah. have, I'm the same with everything. For me, it's more when it becomes. Uh, that's what I said. When it just becomes stupid, where you go, don't, yeah. don't call people names. Don't say like. I mean, because that is a little disrespectful. And I understand that you think when you're sitting, writing on your computer or whatever, that no one's reading it. But things travel quickly. Yes, they do. And are you talking with? the colleagues about those topics? No, we, we, we talked, yeah, we've talked about it. Um, Is there a Game of Thrones group chat? Yes, WhatsApp we, group? we have a WhatsApp group, yeah. You have? Yeah. <laughs> Can I see it? No. <laughs> okay. I'm eating again. <laughs> so you, you are talking about this with, with, with the other one? I mean, usually we talk about all other stuff. We don't, but right when it happened, when the show was airing, uh, yeah. at one point I wrote, listen guys, just relax. Yeah. Um, they still like you. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> so you're the calm one. I'm the old one. Oh. Yeah, but that's quite interesting. Even if you hate the ending of Game of Thrones, everybody loves the actors. Everybody loves the crew. 
Ma they are only I'm talking about story and if the story. No, but and then, which is fine. I think it's just a, it's just a, it becomes silly if you start mm -hmm. calling the writers that like oh they don't know what they're doing they have no idea and how how do they. D it's just completely missing the point of yeah. and the complexity of the show. It's kind of shows that you are stupid because you followed this writer the whole season, the, uh, the whole storyline. Yeah. It, it, he, he got you, and, um, and now it's kind of like it with the Daenerys, you know? I uh, know, but, but, but listen, as, as I said, I mean, I, I, I understand exactly how it is because you, you love something and you have a story and you imagine what's going to happen then it doesn't happen. And for a second you go, this is crazy. Because huh? my idea is clearly much better. <laughs> and then you have to... Um, I'm sure when people go back and watch and rewatch, because um, I don't think any of the big evolutions, uh, they all foreshadowed. Yeah. They all make sense yeah. if you go back. I mean, Daenerys is... I, mean, I, couldn't, I was actually surprised when people were surprised that she turned... Um, the way she did, because I thought she already was pretty. I mean, extremely brutal and, um, and um, you know, and, and dangerous. Um, so, and of course the fact that Jon Snow has to, that they have this tragic ending that he has to be the one killing her is also, I mean... It, this it, is foreshadowed. It's, it's pretty, yeah. you know... The Azor Ahai puts a sword in the heart of the, of the woman. Yeah, and he already, he's, oh, he's, he was, he's a magical being already you know he he's 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 like you know came back from the dead i think it's actually like Tyrion said uh, he has two very very important lines in this last episode it's uh, nobody is very happy so i think it's a good compromise <laughs> and he says uh, ask me again in 10 years yes i think game of thrones is, is a series we will talk about well, look at look at <coughs> sorry look at uh, sopranos the ending of sopranos when that happened people were so angry half of the people well, half the, yeah, i no, think it's the best that, ending ever yeah but today i think it's it's universally acknowledged as being an amazing ending but at the time it was like it was also a show you didn't want it to end yeah and then it just went black you were like what the <laughs> you, you, how dare you? So, um, I mean, you can't please everyone, and you're not supposed to. We all have a favorite character. Okay. Uh, I'm going to tell you my favorite character, but <laughs> first I want to know which one is yours, except for Jamie Lannister, of course. Oh, of course. Um, can I pick a couple? Sure. Maybe a ranking. No, I can't do a ranking. I mean, I love my siblings on the no. show. I really do. I think they're beautifully written. The Lannister, the whole Lannister family was my favorite family. But I am biased, of course. But I think <laughs> I missed when Tywin uh, left the show. I missed mm -hmm. him because he was such a fantastic actor, wonderful person, but also the character was just... Uh, um, Tyrion, of course, from, from season one has been such a, 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 you know, a great, funny, witty... A smart character, um, Olena, uh, the old uh, Diana Riggs character, Olena Tyrell, I thought was brilliant. Um, no, I, I, now I'm, I'm just going to name the whole cast. Because <laughs> <laughs> everyone, the cast is brilliant. But I would yeah. especially like on Jamie Lannister is um, this is a person you hate in the very first episode with all of your heart. Yeah, because it's of the evil first Prince scene, Charming. Scene. It, Good. At but the, the first end, second, you hate him. Yes. In the end, he's one of the most beloved characters ever in this yeah. show. Yeah, and uh, it's all to do with the writing. Yeah, of that's course, the, it's the writing, the but it's still the casting too. I read the books, but I, I, I thought, oh, this is a perfect Jamie Lannister. This is perfect. I remember back then, I was, I was really, people were very upset about my nose. Why? It was what? just not, because apparently Jamie Lannister is supposed to be beautiful, and with that nose, oh. they were like, that's not... <laughs> you Think you're not beautiful? Yeah, they, they were like talking about my nose, which I thought yeah. was funny. But it, it, but my point is, you can never, you can't please everyone. You can't. Yeah. So who's your favorite character? It's Arya Stark. Of course. What do you what do you think about the Starks? Amazing character. I mean, the the, the growth, the, the 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 talk about you know character arcs. Both Sansa and Arya has been in, incredible, and 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 I mean, and but all the girl, all the kids, well, they're not kids anymore. Uh, you see those shows, and they start like they were 12, 13, 14 when they, when they, when we began, and now they're like young adults, and you kind of go, it could have easily gone south, yeah. you know. You never know. Are they still gonna be talented when they become? And they've just, I mean, they're so good. 
Um, so I agree. I think yeah, Sansa is also an amazing character. I think it's a, a whole other experience when you uh, begin in a series as a kid and you grow up yeah. with the series, and then um, I, I wouldn't want to experience that f for anyone. I mean, I think that's. I mean, I, they're so. I mean, they have great parents, and they they're mm -hmm. so clever and smart. But to to have to go through your puberty mm. in the public eye sounds like recipe for disaster and uh, and they are not they are they've turned out really the level-headed wonderful people so uh, yeah that's good my favorite character is Tyrion Lannister because he drinks and knows things but, yes but like, the Lannisters are more interesting is that how you identify with yourself yeah kind of apparently not that much hooking but um, yeah um, um, what I liked about the Lannisters your relationship uh, I have a brother myself and I love my brother, and, okay. but I s seldom see him. I, I, uh, I s didn't saw him for half a year. Uh, next week I will meet him again. And you and uh, Peter Dinklage, you together, uh, you had this chemistry. Yes. You, you, you didn't have a lot of screen time together, no. but you get the love of brothers. And you get, uh, when one of you two is in trouble, the other one frees him. Every time. Yeah. And the bells, uh, your last scene together, is the only scene in Game of Thrones where I have to cry every time I see it. Good. So thank you for that. Well, you're welcome. It's good to cry. Oh. Mm. So I think Freeze. now after this interview, you are going to cry. I'm going to cry well, now maybe. because Why? our time is limited and we that have to let you go. That, did that feel uh, like real to you guys? Like, are you really going to cry? No, that was a lie. <laughs> that was... <laughs> well, you just said that. Well, I don't know. I can see tears in his eyes. No, uh, happy tears. Oh, happy tears. Oh, happy tears. No, I, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, it was such a pleasure to talk to you guys. Yeah. Thank you for being you. here. Um, if you want to, you no, can no, grab I some gummy <laughs> bears if you go. I, you can't, go I can't do any more. No, well, it's too just much. Just one. I'll have a last licorice. one. That's okay. the last one. Yeah, that's the last one. Okay. Thank you, Thank Nikolai. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you very much. Who's that? Jamie fucking Lannister. Mit dem Sky Ticket könnt ihr die allerletzte Folge und alle anderen Folgen auch direkt streamen, sogar monatlich kündbar. Den Link zum Angebot findet ihr in der Infocard und in der Videobeschreibung. Valar do Harris.